First contact, the moon is just starting to make contact with the sun. What a stunning shot. You can see the sunspots at the moment as well. First contact! Woo! You can hear the excitement in this area. <laughs> So viewing here in person, we're seeing the, uh, the upper left side of the sun uh, start to be obscured by the moon. What a stunning shot. Guys, please, uh, please talk on the social streams and that type of thing as well. Uh, this is really exciting. We'd love to hear what uh, you think about it all and uh, what you think about the, the shots we're able to bring you. So a lot of people are connected online and viewing this at the moment. Uh, at around 6.38, we'll be seeing, uh, so just under uh, an hour or so, so it's about 50 minutes, uh, we'll be seeing uh, the totality where the moon will completely obscure the sun's perspective but this is awesome So if you've just joined us, uh, this whole project is about filming the sun using the sun. Uh, all of the power that we're using to power the broadcast, all of our equipment, uh, the microphones, computers, are all use, utilizing our solar and sun-generated power. So we're using the Panasonic HIT solar panels, these 235 watt panels. We have nine of those, and those nine solar panels have been charging up our portable lithium ion batteries. Uh, these are rather light, three kilogram batteries, and uh, we are using 30 of these, and these batteries are actually connected at the site where we're here on the beach to actually power up all of the equipment to bring you this live broadcast. Um, we're also using the Lumix GH2 cameras. We've got a handful of those um, which are connected to our telescopes, our roaming cameras and that type of thing to bring you these um, high definition images. So a spectacular view here at Port Douglas in Queensland, Australia. Uh, a lot of people lined up along the beach here with their cameras, tripods out, trying to uh, capture this event. You can see the view we have here is absolutely spectacular, using the telescopes to actually bring you um, what we're currently seeing, which is the partial eclipse. So we're around 50 minutes away from seeing totality. Um, as we get closer to that, we're hoping to see the diamond ring. Um, when we get into totality, the telescope should be able to bring you views of the corona and that type of thing also.
So if you've just joined us, what you're seeing at the moment is the beginnings of the partial eclipse. We're currently at Port Douglas in Queensland, Australia. Along the beach, we have a big setup here with a few telescopes as well as um, some roaming cameras and that type of thing, trying to bring you the best coverage we can of the uh, total solar eclipse happening here. Now the key thing for us is that we're bringing you this coverage using only power generated from the sun. Uh, we saw obviously some of the partial eclipse before. Feel of views at the moment. Views at the moment is the sun actually uh, around uh, 15 or so minutes. So as I look up and down the beach here at Port Douglas, Four Mile Beach, uh, there's people everywhere um, covering the whole length of this Four Mile Beach. Uh, a lot of uh, cameras out, tripods out, telescopes out. Uh, everyone got their uh, viewing glasses on, of course, or other types of viewers to make sure they can actually see uh, the partial eclipse and the total eclipse um, in around 12, 13 minutes' time. Uh, there are also cruise ships uh, out at see these cruise ships also here bringing tourists specifically here for the total solar eclipse it's the ideal location um, in proximity you can see the cloud cover uh, at at uh, Port Douglas where we are that little bit of uh, cloud obstructing our view but I tell you what that feed at Fitzroy looks beautiful cameras the microphones all the equipment that we need to actually bring you this broadcast um, is powered and the same goes for Fitzroy so Fitzroy also have um, our Panasonic uh, lithium-ion portable batteries uh, so Fitzroy coming from the upper left hand so the cloud cover is breaking up a bit hopefully as it gets closer to totality uh, for those two minutes or so that will have complete totality uh, with fingers on the Sun so when it um, is it, completely in line but when it actually covers the Sun you see a complete ring from the sun uh, on the outside. It was actually the first annual eclipse in Japan in 25 years. Uh, so we had a couple of sites for broadcast, but the main one uh, was from the top of Mount Fuji at the summit. So that was uh, 3.7 kilometers above sea level. Uh, that broadcast was also completely solar powered. So we uh, basically had a climbing expedition which scaled Mount Fuji with the high capacity battery. So the same ones that we're actually using in Port Douglas and um, of course Fitzroy Island as well. Uh, Mount Fuji uh, was the ideal location for that uh, eclipse as well so we actually had it uh, where the sun, uh, the moon was uh, dead center in, in view uh, of the sun. We had a Ustream feed at that time as well uh, we had over 200,000 viewers uh, about 142 countries or so um, tuning in to actually watch that also. So we have the two sites here as well uh, the one that you're watching at the moment is the site at Port Douglas uh, we also have one at Fitzroy Island, so uh, hopefully uh, it's far enough away that different cloud cover may happen at different times. So um, using one of those feeds, hopefully we can bring you the best coverage. Uh, if you'd like to look at both of those, you can see uh, both feeds at the same time on our Facebook page. That's facebook.com forward slash Panasonic Eclipse Live by Solar Power. So uh, facebook.com forward slash Panasonic Eclipse. So we're now 30 minutes away from the total eclipse actually happening.
list. If we don't, please tune in to our Fitzroy Island feed, which actually at the moment does have a clear perspective of the uh, what is now a partial eclipse. Uh, the moon is masking about three quarters of the sun. Totality here, this particular eclipse is going to last around about two minutes, seven seconds. Um, so we hope that we get for that moment um, that uh, clear vision. Totality.